Happy wedding night. Sorry it's not better. But tomorrow we're off to the Bahamas and I promise you it will be so perfect. The room will be so nice you won't want to leave it. I may not be able to wait that long. Here, here, help me out of this thing. It won't budge. What? You got an armored lock on this thing? No. Seriously, this thing's a walking chastity belt. Well, get it off! I'm trying. Hell of a room, huh? Gorgeous, I'm telling you. It's only one night. One more day and we're south of the border. My ties and hot guys. That is, unless you want to adhere to a strict tequila diet again. Arms ahoy. I've been here before. You yeah? have? Yeah. Day gone all to shit. Ended up running out of here in the morning with a laundry list of regrets. We've all had those. Do you think a place could have a soul? What the hell do you mean, Ashley? That a room could have a past, and everyone who passes in and out of it shares a connection. Like they're tied to it forever somehow. And you spend your entire life giving pieces of yourself away to people in different places, until one day you look back, and you're spread too thin across the years. You off your meds again. Seriously, who knows what could have happened in this place or what will happen. People spend a fraction of their lives living out a brief drama within four walls and it gets etched into this place like the room's alive. The greatest and worst stories ever told could take place right here. Secret of lies that dissolve once you set foot out the door. It's weird. Unsettling. You really need this trip. Tell me about your new guy. How'd you know? I know you. It's complicated. Then he must be married. What makes you say that? Doesn't get much more complicated than that. I'm just exercising my sexual demons. Trying to purge myself of all those filthy things my daddy would disown me for. After all, I'm a good girl. We've all had our demons. Yeah, but this is a touchy situation. Sometimes I think I should just skip the whole relationship thing and hire a male prostitute. I've done that. What? It came highly recommended through a friend. You're not serious. Whatever bizarre fetishistic fantasies you think you lay original claim to, I've pioneered long ago. I don't believe you. It was personal and discreet. It was the exact thing I needed before I laid my wayward youth to rest. What did you do? What was it like? Details! No! He let it be whatever I wanted it to be. I hear he's very popular at giving women something frighteningly original. <laughs> How do I look him up? Don't know his name. Well, what did you call him? Pedro. <laughs> Ashley, you pathetic gutter slut. Eat it, slut. <laughs>
Of all the hotels in town, we get stuck here. Unbelievable. It's not so bad. It's our wedding night suite. How many people get to revisit it? Samantha, it's a shithole. I'm going to bed. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Good night. Good night. Are you happy? I'm tired. I'm serious. What do you mean? Well, after all these years, it's, it's like you just put up with me. We don't talk at all like we used to. We don't even sound like the same people. So talk. What makes you happy? What excites you? Is this a sex thing again? No, I... I just don't think we express ourselves. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. What's your point? Well, there's a lot I don't know about you. You know plenty about me. You don't know everything about me. I know everything there is to know about Samantha. Go to sleep. I've got needs too, you know, just like you. Secrets, desires. And I know them all. I've got things you don't know. Like what? Like I sing in the bathtub when you're not around. I've heard it. I like to run. I haven't in a while, but I like running. So run. There's other stuff, but you don't care. I do too. What? Things. Fantasies. I might want you to try sometime. Sam, you're a good girl. That stuff is for sluts. You're not a slut. Good night. I love you. Good night. Stay right there. I want to remember this. <laughs> Sweetie, what's wrong? I just think 
we need to do something different. I mean, it's like we, we always come here, and every time, it's the same thing. It's not that I'm complaining, mind you. I. It's always this room. I feel like I'm forever stuck in this room. I just don't want to see us get stuck in a rut, you know? We could talk. Yeah. We need to go soon. I can stay tonight. No, I need to get back. You know, you and I don't get much time. We sneak around constantly. And now, here I am, offering you what I thought you wanted. And you just want to talk. Which would normally be fine, but you've said nothing. A three-hour conversation, and you haven't once told me what's wrong. So either quit wasting an opportunity, tell me to leave, or spit it out. I was just thinking. About what? My wife asked me once if I was happy. I just realized I'm not. Don't I make you happy? It's not you. If I had a dollar for every time I heard that, I'd be a hooker. She was so innocent when she asked me. All she wanted was some attention. For me to show some sign that what she thought mattered. I just laid here and went to sleep. Not inches from where you are now. Wait. You and Sam stayed in this room? In this bed? Yeah. That's so wrong, Evan. You do know that, don't you? Yeah. I have to go. Yeah. drive west. I've got a brother in Tucson. I'll put us up till we find a place. My dad's never going to speak to me again. When I told him, he just stood there and cried. He wouldn't say anything. I'm not his little girl anymore. We're going to be fine. Brian. I'm scared. Well, so am I. Are you ready for this? I'm never going to make enough money to support the three of us. <laughs> I've never been good as anything but a mechanic. Well, I can work too. Sweetie, you paint and you're good. But it's going to be hard enough with just you and me. 
We're not ready. I know. Sarah. Sarah, we can't have this baby. Well, what do we do? I mean, I can't just... No. No, we'll give him up for adoption. And then, then we can start life together. We're abandoning him. No. It's for the best. This is where it happened. Remember? Yeah. Sarah? I love you. You know that, right? I know. I do too. <laughs> well, what is it? I'll get the car. Son of a bitch. Sam, wait. Stay away from me. Look, I told you. That has to count for something, right? We can talk about this like adults. Oh. Okay. Talk. I'm waiting. Fine. I'll start. How was she? How was your little whore? Stop. No! How was your little whore? What did she smell like? <laughs> what did it smell like, Evan? Did she make you laugh? Did she fuck you and have your goddamn child? What did it feel like, Evan? Inside of her. Was it better than me? Was she better than me? Warmer? Harder? More intense? What was it you were looking for? I don't know what I'm looking for. If anyone should have been clamoring for infidelities, it's me. You, you have been driving and pushing me away for so long now. Don't you remember? Don't you remember how we used to be together? You and, and me, and nothing else. Damn it, that was real. I love you. No, no, I loved you. You don't get to say that anymore. You broke my heart. And for what? Some girl, here in this room, on this bed. And you have the nerve to look me in the eye and tell me that you love me? How dare you? How dare you love me? Sam. Don't, don't, don't touch me.
Don't leave me. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you. 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 I loved you. I love you. I love you. scattered ass. Especially you, Brian. I mean, when was the last time you got laid? I don't know, pussy. Oh, it's so odd. 
That's mine. That's fucking mine. They're douchebags. Oh, what the hell? Mind if I come in? You bitch. Nikki, I... Shut up! I can explain. No. You can't. Evan, what's going on? Shut your mouth, whore! Hey! Don't talk to her that way. You stand up for her? Not for me, not for your wife, but for her? You're married? We're getting a divorce. <laughs> Details. You know, I saw Samantha. For a moment, I actually thought I might be able to reconcile with her. You know what she said to me? That I'm as bad as you. The only difference is you forgot your wedding day. But I remember. I stood there supporting my sister, watching you vow to love only her. And I went through with it anyway. I crawled into your bed and let the guilt ride inside of me. But I didn't care. I was stupid enough to believe. I'm nobody's sister anymore. But I thought I damn well might be your girl. Nicole, you need to leave. No. No. 
You need to listen. Sit down. You can't play games with people's feelings like this. Now look. No, you look, Evan! Look at yourself. Do you even realize the consequences of what you're doing? Did you ever stop and think about your children? Or Samantha? Or what about me? Did it ever occur to you that I love you too? A stupid mistake on my part, but when I went ahead and made. I didn't want to hurt anybody. You didn't want to hurt anybody. Thank you for that. I'm all better now. I won't let you be the one who breaks my heart. Not anymore. No! Ah! I wanted you to know what it feels like when your life's about to crumble. How frail that is. Now you're on the same level as the rest of us. I hate hotel rooms. Never know what kind of shit that happened to them. You sit out in an unidentified stain and boom! <laughs> Crabs. <laughs> Did you see the one with the dinosaurs? You mean the Dinobots? Yeah, the fucking Dinobots. Man, Grimlock was the shit. <laughs> My kid loves that fucking show. <laughs> oh, don't mind him. Who is he? It's Mike the bike. Mike the bike? Mike the fucking bike. Look, this pleasantry and bullshit is sweet now, but you got the money? Yeah, sure. Fred? Well done, Brian. Well done. You know, you keep something like this, you may start to impress me. Now to settle. Here's round three. And here's your cut. Pleasure doing business. I'll see you on Thursday. Wait. That's not good enough. What are you doing? That is not good enough. We want half. Fred, shut up. I'm sorry, but who are you and what makes you think you get a say in any of this? J just ignore him, man. It's Fred. It's cool. Fred, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, we're the ones out there. We do the work. We take the risks. We want half. <laughs> Dex, I swear to God I don't know what he's talking about. No, man, this is amusing. Don't listen to him. No, listen to this. Fred, put it away! Now it ceases to be funny. I'm standing amongst ghosts. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Yes, I do. Fred, not the fucking gun away. Let's just do what he says and go home, all right? Let's go home. I want to go home, all right? Red is ready to go home, Brian. Don't push me, man. Come on. 
do it here. Put it right here. It's okay. Come on. I'm not fucking around. Come on, you weak little bitch. Put it right here. Better yet? Make sure the job's done right. So there are no mistakes. Squeeze the damn trick. It's okay, go ahead. Do it. Pull the trigger. Just squeeze your finger and it all goes away. Don't look at him. I'm right here. Do it. Do it! Pull the motherfucking trigger! <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Somebody give me a gun. Now see, this is how you do it. Now let's try to do this quietly. Dex, come on, man. I swear to God, I won't, I won't say anything to anyone, I promise. Guys, guys, come on. I mean, do, do, do. Don't do this to me. I swear, I swear to God, I won't say anything to anyone. No! Fucking amateur. You ignorant son of a bitch. I am so sorry about this, Brian. It's so unprofessional. See, that's why I don't let you do shit. Do I have to do everything for you myself? Look, let me show you. It's not that hard. You point, you aim, and you pull the fucking trigger. What do you want to do with the bodies? Cut them up. We'll take them with us. Cool. Done. Pleasure doing business with you, Brian.
I, I don't know if I can do this. You've come this far. It's already done. I feel wrong. Everybody does. It passes. So. Have you ever had a clown before? How do you want it? Well, what are my options? Anything you want. Anything you could possibly crave, I can do. Am I doing the right thing? In about 30 minutes, your entire body will be shaking so hard you won't be able to control it. I'll discover places inside you no one has ever touched, and no one will ever find again. You'll beg me to stop, but I won't, because I'll know you'll want me to keep going. You'll lay paralyzed, your legs quivering violently as you desperately try to catch your breath. Before you leave this room, every inch of the sheets you lay on will be soaked in sweat, and you'll have a bruise on your lip from biting it in a futile effort to hold back the screams of ecstasy that I will force out of you. That is how good you're going to feel. I've never done anything like this before. It isn't me. It never is, but this is the new you. My name is Samantha. I don't care. You can be whoever you want to be. Do I pay you now or, or later? When it's done. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what to do. I'll do the work. Can we just talk a bit first? I don't do talking. You're afraid. Don't be. I'm... I know. Take off your clothes.
Hi. Yeah, I'm here. I'm fine. Yeah. I think I found what I'm looking for. I'll be home in a couple days. I love you, honey. Bye. Sweetheart, I got it all figured out. We're on our way. We're gonna be fine. Soon we'll have enough money, and then we'll get him back. I promise.